So I think that this uh, corner is just very boring and needs something. And so I've decided to build a second table, but this time kind of a, an end table sort. And I bought these baskets, I bought three of them. So I can maybe do something like this that houses the three baskets and then probably store such things like hat, gloves, or scarves in here. And then maybe with the table being this high, put a bowl on top that I can drop my keys into. So as soon as I enter into the house, so. So the first thing I did was buy some baskets. That way I could build this table actually around the baskets themselves. So I got them home and started playing with different layouts until I was able to sketch up something I liked. Next I started making the legs. I grabbed some 1x2 pine boards and cut them down to 28 inches. Then I went ahead and ripped them down to be 1 inch even. While I was at it, I went ahead and ripped a few strips to be three quarters, and I'll use these to make up my individual shelves. With the pieces cut, I went ahead and laid it all out. I already decided to space the baskets apart two inches, but I still like to get a visual just so I can hopefully see any potential problems. It also helps me with my next step. So like with this, I would put it in place and then move it around until I liked what I saw. Take my measurement, about eight and a half inches, and then I would go and cut the sides. I spaced these out seven and a half inches, and this will leave three quarter inch little feet at the bottom of the table. Once I was happy with their position, I glued and then clamped and then nailed them in place. Once all three were in place, I measured each one of the locations twice <laughs> and then transferred the mark to the other side. Then I just repeated the steps until I had two sides complete. With those completed, I went ahead and figured out how wide I wanted it. These baskets are 13 inches, so I went ahead and cut a back that was 13 and 3 8 wide. Okay, that works. Now, I don't like to try to shoot in brad nails into quarter inch plywood, so I went ahead and glued and clamped these. And yes, I finally have some bar clamps. A local viewer was kind enough to give me some of his extras. So no more ratchet straps for me, I guess. Next I took the 3 quarter inch strips and cut 6 pieces at 13 and 3 eighths and then also 6 pieces at 8 and a quarter. And now these are going to make up the shelves. And so I glued the bottoms and then glued and nailed the sides and then also glued and nailed the top pieces. Okay, so for the top, I already had a 1 by 12. So I decided to leave it at 11 and a quarter and then cut the length down to 17 and a half. This leaves about an inch hangover on the left and the right and about an inch and a quarter on the front. Then I stuck a chamfer bit in my router and quickly went over the edges. Then I came back with some wood filler, some pre-stained wood conditioner, and then a coat of stain. Now, I wasn't a fan of these blonde colored baskets. However, they were the right size. So I just took some spray paint to them. Excellent. I think that this corner looks a lot better. 
Now the design for the table actually came from a table that I have up in my job. However, that one's a lot wider, that holds six baskets. But I, I, I loved it so much that I just wanted to modify it in order to fit this corner of mine. And I think it's gonna work out great. I mean, aesthetics is really what spurred me to build this in the first place. But with these baskets here, I just think that it will be a great spot to store my winter accessories. And then also a wallet key drop is always convenient to have. So what do you think? Let me hear your thoughts below. I always love hearing y'all's feedback. Also, if you would like a rent tutorial, then you can check out my website, which is walkerdues.com. And I guess I will see you around the next time I build something. So y'all be safe.